it seems uh, like you played like two games yesterday. It, it, it didn't seem. It was. Uh, <laughs> we had, uh, what, when I looked at the film, it said like 104 plays. Oh, uh, so it was a long day yesterday. Okay, so um, did you say anything to Joe Burrow throughout the day? Did you get in his ear a little bit? Cam? No, he's a, he's he's a Buckeye. Uh, oh God, he's. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say too much. Uh, you know, I talk more to the O, o lineman than anything. But uh, you know, I I keep it pretty PG with with Joe. Well, so what were you maybe thinking about seeing on film that you were able to execute against a team that felt that they had fixed their upfront problems, and you certainly hey. exposed the heck out of them, Cam? Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, they had four new starters, and um, obviously they're going to get better as the season keeps going on. But for us, uh, we've had cohesiveness, and, you know, we've been together. Um, and we feel like whoever we play, we're going to have success in getting after the quarterback. Uh, it's just about getting those opportunities, and uh, we maximized them, and then we were able to, you know, let our DBs pick off a lot of balls. So, all in all, good. So, uh, and, and were you um... – I guess hearing the things that people were saying about the Steelers uh, going into a season where um, the Bengals were the defending champs and uh, clearly the Ravens uh, got had a lot of people talking about them, but not a lot of folks about you. I've heard of plenty of it. Um, you know, for me, you know, I, I come down to it's not what people say, it's what you do. Um, it's about uh, the work you put in the season. Um, and I can say the guys were ready and – um, they've been ready for these moments. Um, I know it's only one game, but we're going to have to go week in and week out and show people and prove to people that we belong in the playoffs one day. And how is T.J. Watt? What can you tell me about him? It looks like he tore his pec yesterday. Cam. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the, the diagnosis is yet. Uh, I think we're all just waiting on MRIs and such. But, uh, you know, everybody's praying. I, I'm pretty sure everybody in Steelers Nation is at a – a church right now making sure it's not as bad as, as it is so uh we're all holding our breath here so when he left the game yesterday and um and the, the number of times that the Steelers uh I mean that the Steelers seemingly were on the verge of being knocked out finally after having led that entire game what was it like for you and the team going through all that with T.J. Watt out and then it seemed like you you guys were toast yesterday oh uh, you know it, you know we never thought we were toast it's just um, TJ went out, um, and, you know, they scored at the very end of the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I thought they had won off of that. Uh, I, w I didn't even look at the score. So then, um, our special teams coach came up to me and was just like, Hey, we got one more to play. They just tied the game. I was like, okay, let's see what happens. Uh, then Minka goes and blocks it. Uh, and then we go into another, you know, shootout in the overtime where just going back and forth, nobody scored. Um, and you just, you know, you you don't know how it's going to unfold. Uh, it took every bit of overtime to win that game, and lucky to be the victor today. So when Jamar Chase caught that ball with no time left, you thought that was it? You thought that was the yeah. game? Yeah, I thought it was over. I was, I was pretty pissed off, but I was just like, to have the game go the way it did and then and, and like that, I thought it was over. And it wasn't. And Fitzpatrick Minka made an incredible play blocking that although yeah. the long snapper of the Bengals got hurt and they were using a tight end in there as well mm -hmm. uh, I mean that that man that was just oh, I was uh, emotionally exhausted having watched it I can only imagine what was it like in the <laughs> locker room afterwards for you having played it Cam Hayward well, I'm sorry Rich you had to deal with that I <laughs> to be <laughs> yeah uh, by the way I appreciate your concern I, I was just explaining to you just watching it was incredible it was really uh, you know the ups and downs I can only imagine what it was like to actually play it Cam Hayward yeah you know? uh, a lot of guys are just very sore um but you'll be sore and tired with a win and you'll take that every time over a story entire when you lose. Did I see Tomlin dancing in the locker room afterwards, Cam? Did I see that? Yeah, he's becoming a little, uh, you know, social media, um, I don't know, uh, savant now. He just wants to be on Twitter and, and Instagram. And, uh, everybody's trying to get their views up with him now. So he's letting his inner Antonio Brown out after all these years? Is that what you're saying, Cam? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No, I don't know if he's going to Antonio Brown. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he's having fun.